Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, so uh, Boundary Oak Distillery here in Radcliffe has already made about 500 bottles of this hand sanitizer. And this is something that the owner, Brent, you're not used to making. This no, is not fresh. At all. Not at all. You can see it doesn't quite meet in, um, doesn't match our theme, does it? Right, no. Yeah. But this is for a good cause. You know, we're here in the still room right now. What usually happens in here? Yeah, well, usually at this particular time of the morning, we're getting ready and prepped to start making bourbon or making whatever product that we're making. This is a strip still. This is a finished still very similar to other small craft distillers in Kentucky. So all of our process for making, whether it's a bourbon or it's a vodka that we make, uh, it all starts here. And so what's in this hand sanitizer bottle? How do you guys make this? Because your production is shut down right now, so you can focus on this project. Right, generally we would be making this and putting it into the barrel, but right now we're making hand sanitizer. So this is 190 proof ethanol that's been cut down to 160 proofs. We do water, we add a little water to it, and then add two other uh, components to it, like you know hydrogen peroxide and and, eth and and glycerin to give it a little bit of a you know sticking ability, and uh, and th so that's the, the formula for the World Health Organization for making hand sanitizer. Absolutely. And so right now you guys are you know you're bringing in your crew here. It's a very small crew, family pretty much. Family. Um, right. You guys are taking precautions when you're making this, and you say um, how much do you think you're going to continue to make? I mean, you're talking more than 500 of those bottles so far. Right. Uh, we have about a 500 gallon total capacity on this ethanol that we have. Uh, we didn't think that the, the crisis would go this long and for us that means uh, the supply chain that usually makes this stuff would hopefully kick in. Uh, so we're, we're trying to fill that void basically and hopefully we'll have enough to be able to do that. And, if, and you've had a, a great response from the community. This stuff is going to first responders, hospitals, organizations like that. Um, if people want to help and donate bottles, how can they do that? Sure, they can call the distillery. Uh, that's one of the products that we're running out of. I mean, uh, the bottles Rule King and Kerr office supplies has supplied all these. They've been wonderful. Uh, the containers has been the biggest of all the issues to try to get a hold of. So call the distillery, bring it to us. We'd love to have them. It's a real community effort here with uh, Boundary Oak Distillery, working with these organizations in the community to make sure the people on the front line of the coronavirus pandemic are, have what they need 